Hey, yo, what is up guys? It's your boy the Summon 21 back with another video. And I just finished watching the creators of Shinobi Life 2 newest video and damn wow, it just blew me away. Shindo Life is a hundred times better than Shinobi Life 2 by the looks of it. Like bro, yeah, let's just get right to the video, alright? So let's guarantee the video. Let's get as much likes as possible. Smash that like button if you haven't yet, guys. No, let's try to be the goal. Let's try to be but yeah, like I was saying, Shindo Life is looking so good. I mean, I, some things d don't look as good as before, but overall, I'm, I'm liking Shindo Life way better. Uh, but I don't, I'm not, I don't agree with some of the names. Some of the names, they kind of... But, hey. The names are just names. Let's let's skip this part. He starts talking about the game right here. Tricky things with logistics, with DMCA, and how Roblox works. So don't worry, all your data is still there, guys. I already confirmed. Yeah, like I said on my previous video, your data is still there. You know, you're not gonna lose nothing. Everything that you've gained, basically, your level, everything is still gonna be there when you play the game. Just you know, the names and everything they updated is that's the only things that are gonna be different. The names of the villages, the names of the subjutsu, but everything that you have, you'll still have. That it's just a different title. So we took the title of our uh, one of our most popular back in the day in 2014 to 15 game, Nindo, and we took Shinobi. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Nindo different. Shinobi Shindo, Shindo Life. That makes so much sense. That's the how they came up with the, the title. Of Interesting. The game is Shindo Life. Now, I just want to reassure you guys that all your game passes, all your data mm -hmm. is still safe. Yep. Everything is still there. All everything that you guys worked for is still there. I worked my hardest to bring the game back to you guys. Barely getting, you know, in five days, in a five day time span, I only got like 14 hours of sleep. I would only sleep for three hours a day. And I wanted to work my hardest. And I, you know, I would would get on be working and working through mass mad respect bro mad respect Let's get into the, the game looks so much better like yo just look at the main menu main menu oh my god just hyped me up so much when i first saw the main menu oh my just check it out look for yourself if you haven't watched the video like yo you're gonna be surprised just watch Ooh, that was clean uh as you can see if you guys haven't noticed yet naruto isn't there anymore it's gonna be your character i'm guessing and uh yeah but everything else kind of looks it, it kind of looks different you know but it still gives me naruto vibes bro <laughs> yo the sound it makes when you switch is bro so satisfying and clean bro and the music way better bro way better than before in my opinion so guys for the customization we had to remove some copyrighted clothes so your customization may not look the same when you enter the game, but don't worry, your stats and everything. Oh, ability bag. Bloodline. Oh, interesting. So I'm guessing the bloodline is going to be uh, the eyes, the KGs, and the ability bag is the, the KG bag, basically. Kitchen saves. Um, we're going to go through the bloodline bag so you guys can see all the new redesign. Um, wow. You know, look at the new uh, KGs. Ability. So, yes, this did take a while. And for me personally, when we did the customization, um, we were thinking like, now all the names had to be original and we wanted to, well, we were advised to stray as far away from Naruto kind of names as possible. So Genkai was obviously changed to um, Bloodline and, you know, you can, you still, it's the same uh, game passes, same everything, it's just different names. You guys might have to like spend like a couple minutes adjust, not minutes, maybe hours adjusting to the names um etc you can call the you can call it whatever you want you can call it bloodline if you want to but um for the codes and all you can see that we removed some things that look like naruto or had naruto symbols or cosmetics on it um and we added some new flax and not flax i can't say flax so they're trying to stay as far away as you know from naruto like trying to resemble naruto basically they're not trying to resemble so they're basically not trying to resemble naruto at all they're removing everything that resembles naruto but still again the game kind of still gives me naruto vibes the village you know it, it still gives me naruto vibes at the end of the day and that's good honestly you know if they like bro if i play the game and there's no naruto vibes it wouldn't be the same you know what i mean main codes 
It's so it's so I'm so used to it, so I expect you guys. It's gonna take you guys a while since it's taken me a while to get used to it, but you get some new armors and um, I'm gonna be adding more customization features. I .e. clothing. We had to remove about like a hundred pieces of clothes. But it's not that bad, and you still have like 109 pieces in the customization. I'm, I'm gonna be adding new custom really cool looking clothes um, as the game progresses and goes on, so. Bro, the background music though, like, <laughs> I'm loving it. Ooh! Oh! We gotta, okay, we gotta play that again, check it out. Check this out. Oh, that looks clean. The new map. It looks, it looks all right. I mean, what do y'all think of the new map? Let me know. To, to be honest, in my opinion, it looks all right. But yo, I'm loving the main menu. Ooh, and the background music. Well, okay. Yo, I can't wait till I play this game, yo. Let me know what y'all think about this game Shindo like compared to Shinobi Life 2. But it's different. So what we had to do Yeah bro, that's how I'm feeling right now. It looks different, but I feel like, you know, when I play the game, it's gonna feel the same. To remove all the copyright sounds, all the copyright images that can be referenced to Naruto. And I wanna show you guys uh, something. So legit. You can see the difference. Oh, they changed the villages to travel. Different Interesting. Tools. All the different new tools and guys, it's a, it's the same tools, but we made our own original weapons, um, use our own original sound effects, and we basically worked side by side with Roblox to bring this game back up. Uh, what that means is that they they would let us. So basically, hold on. Before I continue uh, playing the video. Basically, all the moves, they're going to operate the same, but the only difference is going to be the names of the moves and the sound effects and how they look like. I think. Though, you know, to be on the safe side and to, to you know, in order to get this game back, like Ro Roblox really, really stepped up to the plate and they really went in and they did as much for us as they can. So what I, I am really grateful and you know, thankful for the moderators that, I, I mean, not the moderators, the admins at Roblox, the people that make Roblox great, you know, like they helped us improve the game so much and gave us tips and advice. So you can see like literally the Ninja tools. So let's review the menu. Should have done that a long time ago. All right, so the sub ability is a sub jutsu. The travel is the option where you go to, you know, to go to different villages, the Akashi base, training grounds, all that good stuff. So everything looks the same in this in this area right here. The options right here, they all look the same except for sub ability and travel. So yeah. Some of them have different skins. And it's it's check out the new weapons. Some of them look exactly the same, while some of them look completely different, and some of them look in the middle the same and kind of different. You're gonna all figure this out. It's very easy for you guys to understand. I think this is a favorite, a fan favorite. The, Ooh. How this looks. Um, let's see this. Got the heaven blade right here. Bro, the this weapons look new, clean. This is a new blade that you guys didn't get to get. There's a lot. There's a lot of blades, guys. Uh, right now, my favorite is this because this. I think it's gonna. This blade is kind of underrated. No, no cap. <laughs> um, you guys see like all the masteries, like all the new symbols. I mean, yeah, like the new symbols, bro. They look, bro, it looks better than before, in my opinion. <laughs> Am I tweaking or does it look better? Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about the new KGs, how they look. I, we went and we, we did this game from ground up, and we went in and we did as much work as possible to make sure that. All right, so this part is very interesting. This part stood out to me, bro, when I watched the video. This part alone is the part that really stood out to me and that really got me excited. So 
I'm gonna try my hardest not to talk while playing this part. I'm gonna just let him speak and listen to him. All right, guys, listen to the creator. You get to customize the tails, the aura color, the Bro. color. You get to customize. Yo, like, I'm hype. You know how in the chakra mode, how there's like lines on your body, you get to customize. Those remain black on the, now the beast customizer is gonna be like how you guys want you guys to choose your colors, your aura. And we want your beasts to, you know, look really unique and out of this world. So it also affects your chakra cloaks as well. So I'm going to explain it a lot more in the next clip. Um, I sorry, I had to edit this clip because I was all over the place. And um, I wasn't sure like the structure of this video because I want to get this video out. We have a lot of testing to do. It's a different concept from Naruto, but it's the same game mechanics. Like if you had your tail beast and how you would write the beast. Uh, before it's the same game mechanics except this time you get to choose your chakra cloak color Like the color affects the cloak you have on as well So your beast's color affects your cloak you get to customize them you get to make them uh, look really cool So we're gonna have Yo, a showcase of lit. the tailed spirits customizer. It's actually amazing Like it's you get to customize from the tailed to like different body parts like the design you know how like in Naruto and his Kurama mode, he had like these black parts on him. You legit get to customize that. So I know it sounds very exciting and it's it's obviously it's gonna be something new and it's gonna be amazing because you guys get to defeat these beasts in the wild. Well they're not beasts, they're spirits. And once you defeat the spirits, you collect the you know that you collect the spirit and then you get to customize them. So we wanted we want the game to be, you know, more like you create your own thing instead of you see like 20 tail pieces of the same color so um what we're doing we're doing it really like it, imagine your your chakra mode right and you and your tail beast has the chakra mode and he has the symbols on it and it's, and it's gonna be so sick it's it's awesome so so guys i can recall to a time where we did the customizable susano way back in our old game beyond and that was so revolutionary like no other naruto game or a game in general had that custom susano and now that we're free from like the chains that chains like we were held down to make like a specific type of content we can take inspiration from a lot of things create it into our own unique idea and yo this game is gonna be mod it's gonna be yo i'm excited mad. it's actually gonna be better than it was before because i've when i talk to the people that played the game like i let a certain amount of people test the game and they're like why does this feel better than it did when you know back in shinobi life they like the shindo a lot better than shinobi life too and i'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are gonna love this game and i'm i'm really grateful that you guys supported us through this entire journey in in getting the game back too you know and it sucks it sucks that the game had to go down the way it did we wanted to work out some type of deal but it's impossible it's we were trying to work out the deal like we that legit sucks. emailed 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 and you know we wanted to have that you know we wanted to at least have the naruto um license but we couldn't even get a hold of them which sucked now for the release date i will be announcing it on the rel games twitter i can't announce it in the video yet because I don't think I'm legally or actually I can't really say anything because we're still testing where I think we're one day more like one more day of testing or one or two more days of testing and the game should be out guys. Um, you know what that means. Ooh, the out. game should be out real soon. So forget what I said on my recent videos not coming out tomorrow on Friday. It might come out. I don't know. It might not come out on Friday. They said one more day of testing and it's going to come out. So come out any day. <laughs>